Twins and the Indians from progressive field to open up a four-game series. Kyle Gibson on the mound. He's lost consecutive starts. Opposed by Zach McAllister, who has also lost two straight starts coming in. We pick things up in the first. McAllister starting off the night well. He strikes out Sam Fold. And then later in the first, it's Trevor Plouffe. In the third, Mike Avila's playing second base and making a great play as he throws out Pedro Floramone to the bottom of the fourth inning. Still no score. It's Brian Dozier getting involved defensively. Well, a two-pitch possible out. Oh, and look at that. Gibson went to the bag. Somehow he caught the ball and still found the bag. A play that was fraught with disaster, and somehow Gibson got there. What a tremendous job by Gibson to get over to first and field the throw from Dozier. Now Gibson in the fifth gets a double play ball from David Murphy. It goes 4-6-3 to keep it scoreless. To the seventh, McAllister done for the night. Brian Shaw comes in with runners at first and second and two out, but he gets Eduardo Escobar to ground out to end the threat in the seventh. Now bottom seven, two outs. Chris Colabello makes a great backhanded stab to rob Jan Gomes of a base hit. He tosses to Gibson to finish the play. Gibson goes seven innings, allows just two hits in the no decision. Still scoreless in the tenth. John Axford comes on to scoreless game to face leadoff man Eduardo Escobar. A deep oh drive to right field. Escobar to the wall and gone. A home run. Eduardo Escobar puts the Twins in front in the tenth. For Escobar, his first home run of the season, giving the Twins the one to nothing lead. Later in the 10th, they're on the corners. Trevor Plouffe hits the ground ball to third. Dozier breaks for home, but is thrown out by Carlos Santana. It's still one to nothing. To the bottom of the 10th, two outs, base is empty. Glenn Perkins in the game, looking to close it out. He gets Jan Gomes to finish the game as Kurt Suzuki holds on to the foul tip, and Minnesota wins it one nothing for their third straight win. Glenn Perkins nailed down his eighth save with a scoreless 10th. Sam Fold went two for four in the victory. Joe Maurer did not appear on Monday after leaving Sunday's game with lower back spasms. He is listed as day-to-day.